All right, so we on the block cleaning up. We already got a decent amount of stuff picked up. We got these trees um, picked up already. We got all this trash right here, and we still doing it. We just got the fire barrel. Uh, my man's right here, real lumberjack, cut down all these trees. I'm about to take it back here. My man, I seen my man's hacking down all these trees. I was like, damn. So, if you watch like previous videos that I upload, I don't know. Let me know if y'all want to see these long vlogs because the shorts been going crazy, but I don't know about the long vlogs. But all this was like filled. You couldn't even get in the house right here. Like. So now we about to board this up. Um, we got to board this up right here and then we thinking about putting bottom block on the boards or whatever I got a garage right there and then let's uh, we just gonna keep rolling straight too alright so it's gonna be a lot of work to get this done but um, we doing it one step at a time got the bounce house for the kids so I had to go to the neighbors to see if they can help me with the electricity they were skeptical. I told them I'm from here, showed them the tattoos, uh, met some more neighbors. They helped us. They let us hook up. Um, and then let me see over here. We're about to plant these flowers. Um, got to plant those flowers. And then so I got this house right here and then these four lots next to it. The goal, real talk, is to get all these lots right here. And I can't really build houses on them yet because... If I build a house, it's gonna cost like three hundred thousand, maybe, you know, maybe two, three hundred thousand. But I gotta make sure the comps, which means the prices of the other houses next to it, would be able to um, compare to it. Because if I build a three hundred thousand dollar house, who gonna buy that if the house next to it worth fifty thousand, right? So we gonna sit on it and build gardens. Um, I'm still open to ideas and still trying to figure it out as I go. And then I, I'm about to go up here real quick. And then, so once I get, I already got this. All I need is to get the houses and property. Don't nobody own there get this and then I'm gonna start working my way down that way and then that way but the house that I grew up in is right here so I'm gonna do a few deals. All right. so all this right here street is massive all this stuff is like free game and I'm trying to get it before people that's not from around here come in and they just try to buy it and you know but the mayor's office said Big Sean put some money into the rec center half a million dollars they said uh, it's about to be another $2 million investment on the main street down there. So this investment, to me, it wasn't even about the investment. It's because I really want to do this. You good? Because it's because I really want to do this. And I believe in it. I believe in the mission. And then everything else is like going to come with it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Too I'll, bad. I'll too right bad. Back. Full solar. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs> and this little dormer in the back here. House is what's called an atmospheric water generator. So each home generates its own electricity, has batteries to store that electricity into the back of the home so you can go off DTE, and it completely takes you off of the water bill as well. Oh, wow. So I have a small bill for sewer, because the water's got to go somewhere, but that will generate the whole house water, not just drinking water, that's water for the bathrooms, the kitchens, the dishwashers, the mm -hmm. laundry machines, everything, all in one package. It's crazy. Yeah. And doing 27 of these over here on Richardson, Dexter, I mean Richardson, Dwayne, and Monterey. And then next year we expand to 120 to 150. This year, year you, you said 27 this year? Yeah. That's crazy. Hopefully, I, can't see that. I hope I break ground next month. We'll New see. construction, right? New construction. And how much does it cost to even build something like that? Well, uh, like one, a, let's say one. Like, well, I'm at a, I'm under $100 a square foot construction cost. Okay. Because I mean, because I was just talking about that. In order to be able to pull that off, you got to do a, a massive project versus like me building one. House, you got to do it in like on scale, so it like well, you can do one house at a time, right? but one of the key issues is that you have to be able to control materials mm -hmm. and labor. Yeah, and if you can't control one, you seriously have to control the other. Mm -hmm. So, one of the things that I have is I have a 17 foot sawmill, mm -hmm. and that produces all of my exterior and interior trim mm -hmm. essentially for free. Mm -hmm. I pick up the lumber from uh, five different arborists, bring it back, cut it up, yeah. and utilize it. Mm -hmm. uh, my front steps are. 65 inch by eight and a quarter by 13 mm -hmm. uh, solid oak. Wow. So, and, but that's oak is a shit wood for me. So that's why I've got mm -hmm. it out there as a utility wood for steps. But I'm able to, so the siding that I'm putting on the home uh, is a live edge hardwood, mm -hmm. which nobody supplies a hardwood. You're going to either find uh, pine, uh, cedar, or redwood. And yeah. nothing's milled here in the state. The closest, the closest lumber mill 
is either central Indiana or central Ohio, and including shipping, is looking at about 75 grand for the, mm -hmm. for the siding package. Wow. I produce it for the cost of gas, mm. gas and oil. Okay. So that's one way I'm able to keep my prices down below mm -hmm. $100 a square foot. Okay. And so you a Motor City makeover? Uh, no, no. Are I'm you just uh, doing it? No, I'm uh, I'm Newton Park Detroit.org. Okay. Do you know who Dolores is? Uh, we've met, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, a new era. I am, I'm keeping an eye on her project as well. I, I, I know everybody around here. I know who's doing what. I don't think okay. Dave Walker doesn't know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I, I, I just I, met I, Dave. I surprise him every. I surprise him every meeting with things that I know that he doesn't. That's good. That's what it takes sometimes, though, for like them to see, like, hey, I'm up on this, like, I'm aware, yep. you know. And uh, New Darn Park Detroit dot org. Uh, it's a nonprofit uh, end of things where we are trying to guide the development of Darden Park. C six or C three? New Darn Profit. Sorry. Oh. No. Uh, we're still going through our 501c uh, 501c3 process. C3, okay. Yeah, gotcha. so we're going. We're, we're currently in the in, in, in the throes of the state, yeah. of getting our state designation, and then I'll apply for the federal. Okay. But right now, the entire organization is literally just me, mm. so it's not it's not very big. But what we're what we're geared for is Russell Wood is fine. Mm -hmm. They're they're, yeah. they're 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 perfectly okay. That's, yeah, that's they're self-managing. They can take care of themselves. They have almost I think they have three or four empty lots. And every house over there that's got the plastic on it is already owned by the land bank, and they're going to become mm -hmm. rehabbed and ready properties. So they don't need the help. Yeah. Dark Park needs the help. Mm -hmm. So from Richton moving towards Joy, and from Dexter moving towards Livernoy, mm -hmm. we need help to get the property values up, mm -hmm. retain the homeowners that we have, improve yeah. their properties, and bring in new property owners mm -hmm. so that we can have the same tax base that Russell Woods has, so we can contribute to the city coffers. Exactly. So that's that's where that's where we're aimed at is to help guide the development of Narden Park so that we can match the tax base of Russell Woods. They've always Russell Woods has always been good since I was a kid. Oh yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. So yeah, yeah. Why, what's different about Russell Woods versus this side? Well, that they have historic. Uh, they have they have a historic designation. Okay. So they're a historic neighborhood. They take um, that serious and preserve. If you were yeah. if you were doing this there, you would have been gone. You would have had gone through three different, six different months worth. Of permitting and applications and permissions and getting all kind of. Man, this is crazy. This is amazing. It makes such a difference. Yeah, big time. Yeah, it's hard for me to see it right now because I'm so caught in the actual moment. I think once I step away, I'll be able to see it. Wait till you see. Look at the pictures I took at the beginning of the day, and then look at the pictures we take at the end of the day, and then you'll see what happens. You know how it is. I'm gonna get so the hard. lawnmower in here. I'm gonna knock all this down. Well, I'm gonna mow. Like, we're gonna, like, this is gonna look tight when we're done with this. Drew's gonna finish. He's gonna get these all bundled up. If we didn't have all this wind, I'd do a fire and we'd burn, like, burn the wood. I want to it's think it's too windy. windy. It's too windy. Uh, it's too windy, and there's a giant tree Risky. bundle right behind there. <laughs> if an ember. So, you just gotta be careful. Yeah, it's amazing. I can't believe. Yeah, because we got all these clear dogs. People out. just showed up to. We got more help, people coming. Right? Um, like, let me face on my mama real quick. I think she's yeah. Get yeah. your mom over here. When's uh, Happy coming? I'm about to text her. I now. need some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry. I'm asking this. I'm asking this ETA. Yeah, like. <laughs> what? Um, What's his name? Mark. Mark. There's some beers in here. I don't know if you drink beer. Yeah. You want a beer? Anyone want a beer? I need one. I'm like, I, it's 12 o'clock somewhere. I need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a corporate gig. <laughs> it's it's Saturday. Saturday. I'm working in the yard <laughs> on Saturday. I'm having a beer. <laughs> All right, bet. A bit of work, and uh, I'll be uh, keeping an eye on the project, and I'm uh, really excited for what's to come. So, thank you for your help. Yeah, absolutely. I was glad to help, and uh, if you ever need to uh, reach out or need some extra help on the weekends or whatnot, reach out to Brian, and uh, yeah, no, I'll be happy to help. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot more. We're gonna be doing a lot more in the neighborhood. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty close by 10, 10 15 minutes away. So. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. My uh, broker who I'm working with, right. she's like, she closes on multi-million dollar properties every like four months, and she's the one who's about to uh, hang my license. It's okay. Remax Detroit. So we open the office. Okay. And she's been like mentoring me through this all, wow. showing up to the meetings, even closing on this. The lady was like. Who's this lady with you? When she introduced herself, she like know the owners of the title company. Wow, so she's so connected. She the muscle, like right, for right, real. Right, she is like, right. 
So, I mean, then I got her. Then I got another big developer. He's waiting for me to pull this off before he get on board. But he just yeah, once someone yeah. once you get it done, one mm -hmm. everyone will follow. Well, like you said, they want to make sure you yeah. don't come and leave. Even closing on this, like people started texting me that I couldn't even get a response from. So really, you know what I mean? So, all right, Brooke, let's do this real quick before I gotta leave. So I'm standing here with the owner of not owner. No, okay, all right, break it down. <laughs> break it down. Um, I'm the what vice president doing? business development for Savvy Slider. Okay, and then um, so they came they coming out to support, and I've been cool with Happy Savvy's and the team for a while. So. They came out to support. They are sponsoring this. They bring in food. It's on the way here, and we're gonna pass it out. Whatever we have extra over, we gonna hand out to the community. And I want you to tell why you, you know, why you like did this. Why you came out to support. So uh, first of all, we we got to know uh, Trey over the last couple of years. Um, first of all, I'm intrigued by his his music, of course, his talent that he has, um, and knowing what he's doing for the city uh, became very important to us. As, of course, as you know, our brand is a Detroit-based brand. Mm -hmm. So we're looking to sponsor and promote uh, Trey and his team. They're here to redevelop and assist in the developing of the city of Detroit. To us, that's, that's great stuff. And these guys are working hard, and we wanted to make sure they had some food while they're eating and put some smiles on their face. So Savvy Sliders is here with our uh, famous uh, Angus beef and fried mm -hmm. chicken uh, sliders. And good. then we've got some Happy's Pizza coming as well. Okay. As you know, Happy's Pizza was founded in Detroit. So uh, having Trey doing this is just unreal, and we wanted to say thank you to him, and this is what we did. No, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate and Savvy's. Happy and Savvy's. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I'll be right back. Let me come on, please. All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi, everybody. Uh, All right. You got that? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> and just showing you. <laughs> no. Hey, no, he think it's funny too, cause he's like, what you know about that? <laughs> no, cause look, I'm, you might got to cry. You might have got a couple. Years no, I had a bay hoodie on. Then this, this old white guy from like Birmingham was like, I love your bay. I was like, I was like, how you know what this is? He was like, well, we are into fashion, me and my wife. They do the teddy bear t-shirts. They're amazing. Teddy bear t-shirt? I got a hoodie. He's laughing. They do. Ah, they have all kinds of them. They got the Tupac teddy bear. All kinds of. That's funny. Yeah. That you gotta get him a bait put. <laughs> we gotta get him a Nike tip. The guy who used to always take care of us in the streets. Like he always ordered like happies every wow. single day because wow. he he was like a drug dealer, yeah. but he like would order it every day and that's when I was like yo this is good and like every day we used to eat it like every day every day every day. No, he was the first delivery place in Detroit. Every day. Like Seven Hoover was his first store. Ooh. Happy's. Sorry. Okay, yeah. I was just snapping. But like, but that's how I like it so much because I'm like I grew up eating it like all the yeah. time. Seven you know? Hoover was his first store. I'm showing Let everybody's see. enjoying the food. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I like going that Sappy <laughs> Hannah. Wow. <laughs> 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 label to do by the block t shirt. Right with a Trey Little stuff. Teddy Bear. Exactly. As long as it don't get tore down, like, that's how I think. Probably. Yeah. 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 Because I think I noticed that they had a certain signage that was on another property that was a community property. You know, when people develop, they keep like the same uh, address. Yeah.
seen blood spray out of somebody's head like that blood was like spraying out of his head like yeah we'll edit this out this is <laughs> blood was like squirting out of his head i was like dang hey so uh what was i gonna say i had something to say like i threw you off <laughs> are y'all ready oh you don't need a license to be a developer <laughs> I, gotta, I can't say that right, what we so, do Take a piece of dirt out, break the ground break. Like this? Yeah. Like so this. that's enough. Just yeah. dig it. Like in there. I need some boots. Some tears. Alright, and then with we'll Alright, why don't you guys get in there with your uh with your fam? He said with our fam. Right? <laughs> 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 Had the squad pull up, my cousin pulled up, we had some other people pull up. Um, it was fun. 